Hey baby girl, will you be my princess? No. Oh! <laughs> Look, just as you spoke. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you Tiana's hair care routine. But before we get started, I wanted to say that I am not a hair care expert by any means. This video was highly requested for a while now. I even hesitated to make it because again, I'm still learning all the time. But I wanted to take a moment to say that everything I learned, I've learned from black women that have helped me with her hair and I'm so thankful for that. From my friends, to women in the beauty shop, to YouTube, Instagram, and TikTokers who have answered my questions and shared the most helpful content that's taught me how to do her hair. So thank you. I wanna take a moment to highlight the creators I have learned from and the accounts that I get all of my hair inspiration from for Tiana. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all those and link them in the description below. Make sure to give them a follow even if you're not needing to learn how to do hair. They have the most adorable kids, awesome moms, and they're just great accounts to follow. I also wanted to say that we have taken Tiana to have her hair professionally braided before and as she gets older and wants more complex styles, or stuff that I can't do. We will be taking her to a professional. Also, I know that experience is important for her to be in that environment. It's very important to me that I'm able to do her hair because it's such a beautiful thing. We read a lot of books about her hair. We talk about how beautiful her hair is a lot. So last thing, since I said I am still learning, feel free to leave tips, tricks, advice, constructive criticism in the comments below. And on that note, let's get into hair care. The first thing that we do as part of Tiana's hairstyle day routine is wash her hair. So I have her here in the kitchen sink because that's where she likes to get her hair washed. And she only has a bathing suit on because I'm filming this video. But we wash her hair about once every two to three weeks, but it really doesn't require much more than that at all. And this is just what it looks like after we took her style out, which was just a ponytail with two little braids in the front. So her hair is beautiful, healthy, curly, and ready to be washed and styled. These are the products I'm gonna be using for her hair washing part of the routine. I have this shampoo. I've been using this for a really long time and the bottle lasts forever because we don't really use it that often. And then this conditioner is awesome for her curls. It really helps define them. It's the Jamaican black castor oil conditioner. And I also use their leave-in conditioner too from the same line. So what I'll do is wash her hair with this conditioner hair with this, probably leave it in for five to 10 minutes before I rinse it. And then while that conditioner's in, I'll brush her hair with a wide tooth comb just to detangle it. And then after I detangle it, I will dry her hair with a microfiber towel. That's the best kind of towel I've found to use to reduce frizz. And then I will put some of this in her hair. It's the leave-in conditioner, the same black castor oil line. Step one is to wet the hair thoroughly. And that's Tiana's favorite job, as you can see. I know this doesn't look like the most comfortable way to wash your hair, but this is the way she loves to, so I just let her go with it. You ready for the shampoo? Mm -hmm. So I make sure to massage her scalp really good because she does get some product buildup there. And then once the shampoo is massaged all the way in, I go ahead and rinse it out. But we like to do a fun little mohawk first. Oh, we tilt your head back. There you go. Now it's time to condition. So what I've been doing it's just using a generous amount of this deep conditioner and then working it through her hair, massaging it in, and then it'll be time to detangle. This is not her most favorite part because sometimes it does pull a little, but I try to be very gentle. When I detangle, I start from the ends because if you start from the root of the hair, it really pulls and you get stuck on the tangles at the end. So I just start at the end and thank you to everybody who recommended I use a wide tooth comb last year when they saw me combing Tiana's hair not with a wide tooth. This has made a really big difference. This takes a little while because I wanna be very gentle and go through in small sections. I don't wanna pull her hair because that really makes her not like it. And I want her to like her hair time. So sometimes I clip it up, but honestly she doesn't have that much hair to where I need to separate it to detangle it yet, but we are definitely getting there. So I know I'm done detangling when I can easily run my fingers through her hair. And I know this looks uncomfortable, but this is how she wants her hair washed. How I dry her hair in order to not frizz it is I just put the towel over her head the microfiber towel and gently pat it and um, get most of the moisture out. My last step of the wash is just to add the leave-in conditioner, which I showed you earlier. And I just put it on my hands and work it through her hair. It dries clear, it doesn't stay white like that. And I don't put too much, but I put enough to coat the hair nicely. 
And also I wanted to tell you that if I was leaving her hair in her Afro style, this is exactly where I would end my routine. So I would just let it dry and then she'd have a perfect little Afro. But since we're doing braids later, we're gonna let it dry into an Afro and then braid it. Don't forget to tell them about the pro tip. You need lollipops if you wanna get hair done in this household. I wanna show you guys how I style Tiana's hair when we leave it in an Afro for the week. So every morning I spritz it with water and then I use this leave-in conditioner spray, which is kinda of like the same as the cream I just showed you. A lot of people ask about how we hydrate her curls and this is how. So we spray it every morning, spray it with conditioner, just kind of work our hands through it. And then we sometimes co-wash it once or twice in the week, depending on how crazy she's been playing and um, use the deep conditioner when we co-wash it. We're heading to the park right now because I want to wear Tiana out, let her get her energy out before I sit her down to braid her hair. But I want to show you what her beautiful curls look like after they Hello, dried Mommy. this morning. Hello. Oh, thank you, baby. We're going to do chalk. Mommy. Can you show everybody your hair? Oh, beautiful. Now is the fun part and it's time to braid Tiana's hair. So I'm gonna be doing this style that I've picked out off Instagram because I follow a lot of hair pages on Instagram. And this part's really fun, but she doesn't like to sit still and I'm still a slow braider. So she does kind of get upset and restless during it. We have to take little breaks, but overall I think it'll be fine. Um, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to braid her hair. First of all, the leave-in conditioner I showed you earlier, I'm going to use on the ends of her hair if they feel dry while I'm braiding. I'm also going to have a spray bottle of water to keep her hair damp while I'm braiding it. Um, this is the edge gel I'm going to use. It is made for kids so it doesn't have like all these ingredients in it that can make their skin get irritated and their scalp and their eyes and all that. So it's really gentle on them. Um, this is just a regular coconut oil that I'm going to put on after I'm done. And then the bead theme we're doing is purple and white, so I think that should be pretty. Um, the three combs I'll be using is the wide tooth comb uh, just to get tangles out and then these ones to part her hair. Obviously clips to section her hair and then rubber bands that aren't supposed to pull on the hair or break it. So those are the tools and the baby model is coming. Um, ma'am, we're trying to film here. Ma'am. Excuse us. <laughs> Are you ready for your braids? Yeah. But I like your little afro. I know you guys, we absolutely love her afro and I would just leave it in an afro. We weren't traveling, but it's just, you ready? <laughs> yeah. But it's just so much easier when it's in braids because we're gonna be like camping and hiking and all that stuff. Okay, go sit on your chair. Help, you want me to help you? One, two, three. Get in your chair, get in your chair. The first thing that I'm doing is just dampening her hair with a spray bottle. So I'm not going to get it soaking wet, but I feel it's a lot easier to part and everything if it's a little bit wet. It doesn't pull so much on her head. So I'll just be going around her whole head doing this for a minute. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is parting her hair front and back because the style, the braids are the front half of the hair and then the back half of the hair. So I'm going to part her hair, separate it into two big sections, and then I'm gonna start parting the front. And so what I do is, I'll show you a little section as an example. I make a, like a pretty general part, and then I take this other comb that is much smaller, and I use that to make sure it's perfect, and to get all the little hairs out. So you see how much more straight that line is? And I'll just do this all the way around the back of her head. So I did the most challenging part for me, and that is getting the back part and the first part that I'm gonna base the whole style off parted. So now we have this first braid that's gonna be in the middle and the back is parted. These clips are a little too small for her hair now because her hair is getting so much thicker, but they'll work for what I'm doing. And so I am going to take some of my moisturizer, the leave-in conditioner I showed you, and put it on the ends of her hair. Her hair is a little damp right now, but her ends do feel a little dry already. And then I'm going to take the wide tooth comb and I'm basically just going to comb through the section that I'm about to braid to make sure there's no knots. Come here, baby. <laughs> Part of the process. Yes. So I went and got this because now that that is detangled and moisturized, I'm just going to start. I'm going to start the braid. So what I'm going to do is put this edge gel. You want to hear it? She's watching Coco Melon, so I have to mute it whenever I talk because of copyright. So I'm putting the edge gel on all the parts, basically. I'm going to show you right here. And then I'm going to take the thinner comb and just kind of spread that edge gel. 
like this before I start braiding. And I'm gonna do that on all the parts for this braid. See how nice that line is. I'm gonna do the first braid. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So I'll start with this little front section and what I'm gonna do is just make it into a braid, like the start of a braid basically. Like this with my fingers. And then I'm gonna start just pulling hair basically into it while I'm braiding. Some people on, on like Instagram and braiders make this look so much prettier than my process, but this is how I can do it. Sometimes I miss a piece or it doesn't look neat enough, and so I have to take it out and try again, but this is looking pretty good so far. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second when I'm done braiding it. Now I'm just braiding out the end, which is actually the easier part, but you can see what the braid looks like. It looks better after it dries too, I found that. Um, I am considering redoing it because the beginning is not very tight and I do want these to stay in. So I might have to redo this braid, I'll have to let you know, but um, I'm going to do a few more first and then decide. It gets better, I feel like, after my first one. We've changed positions and I'll take what I can get at this point. She's doing really good. Um, we're like 25% done maybe. Uh, and I just had to take this one out and redo it because I missed a piece, but I think it's going pretty well. Um, Tiana wants to put the beads in, so she's excited for the final product. And the braids are looking pretty good. I think they're tight enough that they're going to stay in well. And um, I think I'm happy with it so far. She's drinks so much water. I'm trying not to be a perfectionist because my instinct is that there's like a little bit of imperfection. I want to take the whole braid out and redo it, but we would be here for like a week if I try to do that. So I'm just going to go with the flow here. And um, we should be done by tomorrow morning. You guys probably thought I was useless for this whole thing, but little do you know I have the most important part. I'm the snack giver. There you go, baby. Without me, you couldn't do this, babe. Definitely not. So I just wanted to add my point of view to this whole thing and that I just could never. I just couldn't do it. I don't have the patience. So shout out to all you, both moms, dads, in between, that have the patience to do this because not I. Cameraman skills on point. Let's get in here and show these, this tightness. <laughs> the, the, the non-existent tightness. Salons here. Once again, I find myself helping out and being the hero. I was told just to hold on to this right here. <laughs> She's watching me hold it. Oh, but I don't want to. I was go. doing so good. Okay. Hey, baby girl, will you be my princess? No. Oh! <laughs> All right, well, put your finger out. I'm going to put it on your finger. Will you be my princess? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, baby. There you go. <laughs> She straight up told me no. You're doing so good, baby. She's doing so good sitting here, like even better than I expected. I feel bad that she's been sitting here for like almost two and a half hours or something, but she's been doing really good. She ate a lot of her Halloween candy. Oh, okay. Look, just as you spoke. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Yay! Hey. Did you spill all the beads? No. Yeah, yes. you did. Yeah, you did. Yes, we you saw did. you do it. <laughs> hey. We are finished. Three hours later, I vastly underestimated the amount of time it would take me. But we're done. Um, it's a little bit different than the picture I showed you because I had to make a little bit of changes based on my scale level. The only thing I did that you did not see was put the coconut oil I showed you on her scalp at the very end. And I'll do that every two to three days depending on what it looks like it needs at the time. Um, hopefully this stays for the next 11 days while we're traveling. That was the goal. So I think it will. And um, again, 
I really love doing her hair, even though I'm not the best at it and it takes me a long time. I think it's really important. Also, thank you guys for all the advice on hair care that you've left on my channel over the years. It's been really helpful. Thank you guys so much also for the love on our recent videos. It's meant a lot to us and it's been overwhelmingly positive and it's just been amazing interacting with this community. So I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And again, thank you for always watching. The next vlog you'll be seeing is our big trip vlog. So we're really excited to share that with you. We'll be going to Switzerland and we'll have a few other little trips involved in that big trip as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe and we'll see you next week. Hey baby girl, can you shake your hair real quick? Good job, baby, it looks so good.